Hello everybody, I'd like to share my thoughts on magic rings, especially rings of invisibility. Now I personally do not possess a ring of invisibility, obviously, so I borrowed my daughter's ring of invisibility. I understand how it works, I slip it on my finger and it turns me invisible. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me again. That is how to use it, but how does it actually work? The moment the inner part of the ring touches my skin, that piece of skin is turned invisible. The skin connected to it is turned invisible, the skin connected to that, and so on. The ring understands all my skin as one thing and turns it invisible. And everything underneath it, muscles, bones, and my breakfast. Nothing to be seen. The ring understands me as one unit, and my clothes. The green tunic I'm wearing isn't actually touching my skin, when my hair's touching it, perhaps that's enough. But the belt I'm wearing definitely is not touching my skin, and yet it is invisible as was the purse touching the belt and the tunic and the coins therein. Come over here. Now you see I'm only wearing one sock. I slip the ring on and then that sock, being in direct contact with my right foot, will instantly turn invisible. However, the carpet, being in direct contact with my left foot, is not. There must be some vast intelligence in the ring sorting out all this. So, if you happen to be someone who actually makes rings like this professionally, or you do it as a hobby, I don't care, how does the ring know what to turn invisible and what not? Obviously, it doesn't create a sphere around me because that would take a chunk of the table with it. And I do believe you can see the chair I'm sitting on. Now, if I stand up and take the sword, that goes invisible too. Now, you can't see this coming. Seriously, there's no such thing as a ring of invisibility.